Hello, all of you beautiful people. I'm Linda Wilson, I'm executive director of Fund2 Foundation. Bask in the, just the sacredness of the village. Really enjoy this. I am not an anomaly. Black Mothers Agency has always been policed, second-guessed, surveilled, deprioritized, shamed, and untrusted. We know the U.S. is one of the highest in terms of maternal mortality deaths. Um, and I think part of that reason is because we're not coordinating and working together. Trust, respect, empathy, and communication. All four of these are necessary when you're bringing a mother in there to trust that doctor that's coming in, that you're on average getting only seven and a half minutes of the doctor's time. Um, I personally believe that this type of education is critical to the growth of healthcare and the growth of our black families. The other thing I say is know your role. So as a medical student, I knew my role was to obtain that history, but I was the first point of contact and paint that patient in the best possible light. It's going to take an advocacy effort just like this, where all the, all the groups all, all come, come together and are all part of the village in the discussion. Eventually, we are going to figure this out. We need more innovative thinking. And innovative thinking only comes when you put creative minds together into one space. After a lot of conversation and community members expressing the need for more support from our brothers in the community and how there are no parenting resources for the brothers in our community, helping them understand and reclaim their space and reclaim their power in their families and their community. Too many people pushing out babies, being coerced into contraception. Too many people showing up to the prenatal appointments, being expected to bring a marriage certificate to prove that they are married. That is literally a review I read last week. This is what's happening to our people. So it's important when we are in this work that we also think about our own humanity and use our own experiences to inform the work that we do. I lost my fiance Amber Rose Isaac due to an um, unscheduled C-section that stemmed from medical negligence throughout her entire pregnancy. If I'm coming into the room and we have a table of, uh, of legislators or we have a table of stakeholders and they're all white, it's not necessary for me to silence myself. It's not necessary for me to um, take down my agenda so that it is palatable or so that it's comfortable. We shift right towards that discomfort because we are dying. People came to us and shared stories about black women were dying, Latina women who were dying, and we said, okay, how can we make these stories into policy? We can't really legislate people to love black women. We can't say white women must love black women, white men must love black women, but we can put things into legislation that make it so that the barriers no longer exist. And so I am honored that Fund2 Foundation has put together this group, this collective of individuals today that are not just here um, by invitation, but are here because there's a soul and a heart stirring that says, how can I fix this problem for me in my lifetime, but also for the daughters and sisters and nieces and granddaughters that will come behind?